right, so now we are going to be doing the second titration of experiment number 11, which is part B. In this part of the experiment, our goal is now to determine the concentration of a hydrochloric acid solution that is unknown. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to pipette, using our volumetric pipettes, 10 milliliters of the hydrochloric acid solution into our Erlmeyer flask. Right at the line. Okay, so we're transferring 10.00 milliliters of hydrochloric acid solution into our Erlmeyer flask. I'm just going to use a little deionized water to make sure that all of the hydrochloric acid solution is not on the sides of the walls of the Erlmeyer flask. And by adding additional water, we're not going to affect it because the amount of HCl that I pulled from here was exactly 10.00 milliliters. We're now going to add our phenophanline indicator. Okay. And we're now ready to do our titration. So. I already have our burette filled with the same sodium hydroxide solution that we determined the concentration in part A. So what we're going to do first is record the initial volume of sodium hydroxide. So we'll bring it down to our eye level. And we have 0 0.90 milliliters as the initial volume. And now we're going to begin our titration with hydrochloric acid. So we're slowly going to add the sodium hydroxide to the hydrochloric acid solution. And we're going to be looking for that same pink color that we did in the first part of the experiment. So notice again, initially, I'm doing it pretty fast until we start to see that pink color start to form. Okay. And if you look, you can see the pink color slowly starting to form. So now we can start to see that that pink color is forming, lasting a little bit longer. So we know we're getting closer to that end point of titration. And at this point, we want to start adding it a little slower until we reach that end point. And we can see the pink color starting to last longer and longer and longer. So we know we're getting close. Okay, so at this point, we're switching it to just adding kind of one drop at a time, and we're getting really close. So I'm just going to rinse it down to make sure no sodium hydroxide or HCl is on the sides of our wall. Say one more drop should do it. There we go. That one drop, and we now have that pink color that is not disappearing. So we've reached our end point of titration. So now what we need to do is record the final volume of sodium hydroxide. So now I have to raise this up to my eye level. And our final volume is 30.90 milliliters. And that concludes our second part, part B.